Good day, everyone. Uh, I want to touch upon one topic. It's the uh, Moldovan government. Uh, they have resigned, actually. And it says here from Politico, Moldova names new pro-EU prime minister after government falls amid Russian pressure. Uh, obviously, Politico is a very pro-EU outlet. Uh, it's not a... Uh, it's very an anti-Russian. Uh, this is obviously nonsense. The uh, previous government of Moldova shot itself in the foot by sanctioning Russian gas, which Moldova was uh, pretty much 100% reliant upon. Uh, and this caused uh, inflation and economic uh, and pr pr problems in Moldova. Uh, now they want to say it's uh, Russia's fault. Obviously, the pro-EU government uh, that was... Uh, uh, that that held you know majority seats of the uh, Moldovan parliament. Uh, they accuse uh, Russia for stirring up protests in the country, uh, and uh, yeah, pretty much in, in, in involving itself uh, in their eternal affairs. Uh, this is obviously nonsense. Any country that is going through massive economic issues is going to have protests, okay, uh, sooner or later, you know. Uh, it is because people have to be able to eat. It is what it is. Uh, and there's also been the violation of Moldovan uh, airspace by Russia when they, was, um, when they were bombing uh, Ukrainian energy facilities and infrastructure. <coughs> but anyway... Moldova was granted EU candidate status last June, <clears throat> but has faced intense pressure from Moscow. Moldovan President Maya Sandu on Friday nominated a new prime minister to keep her country in, on a pro-EU trajectory after the previous government fell earlier in the day, following months of rising Russian uh, pressure amid the war in Ukraine. She named Dorin uh, Resian a noted pro-EU figure and current national security advisor to replace Natalia Gavrilita uh, as the new head of government. The Moldovan parliament, where Sandu's party holds a comfortable majority with 63 out of 101 seats, will vote to confirm the nomination next week. At a surprise briefing Friday, now former Prime Minister uh, Gavrilita announced she was resigning together with her pro-Western government. Moldova was granted candidate status to the European Union last June together with Ukraine, but the government has faced intense pressure from Moscow, which has sought to undermine its authority. If our government had had, had, had the same support at home as we had from our uh, European partners, we could have advanced further and faster, Gavrilita said. Moldova is entering a new phase, one in which countries, in which, our, which security is our priority, she added. President Maya Sandu said she would launch discussions with the political parties in parliament to appoint a new prime minister. The Moldovan government has long accused Russia, which bases soldiers in a breakaway region of Transnistria, in the east of staring unrest in the country, including protests in the capital, uh, Chisinau. In an interview with Politico last month, Sandu accused Russia of using the energy crisis and spiraling costs to bring instability to Moldova, referring to disinformation efforts by Russia to stoke anti-government feelings. Moscow has a long history of turning the economic screws on Moldova over the past two decades to undermine pro-EU administration administrations most notoriously by rolling out bans on imports into Russia of Moldova's all import import all important wines. Well, of course they're going to do it. Uh, because a lot of these former Soviet uh, Soviet satellite states, uh, they want not not just to join EU, many of them uh, want to or already have joined NATO. And this is infringing upon uh, Russia's security interests. Uh, we, uh, we have read the RAND report. Uh, we have, um, uh, you know, and, and the RAND report talked about destabilizing Russia, brain draining it, you know, uh, and due to all types of different forms of destabilizing, destabilizing activities, 
uh, where Russia has some sort of interest, whether that be in Eurasia or in, or in Syria, for example. And as of late also, I remember last year, uh, the United States released a, uh, the, the, the State Department released a report on uh, Russian malign activity in Africa, on how to combat that. Um, so everywhere Russia is, is having some sort of business interest or military interest, uh, NATO must uh, combat that, right? Which is obviously why they would, you know, uh, what they would call destabilize their country. Um, but in reality, all these NATO sta states in the East, they are being used as pawns to provoke or, and or destabilize Russia. So, and we saw that with the Minsk agreement, right? They, they admitted this openly. They said, we, we only signed the Minsk agreements because we wanted to buy time to arm the Ukrainian army to fight the Russians. And, and that's it. Uh... The government's collapse on Friday comes just days after Gavrilita met with European Council President Charles Michael and European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen in Brussels to take stock of Moldova's EU membership prospects. Bordering Ukraine, Moldova has found itself precariously close to the war and has been keen to strike a balancing act as it seeks to protect itself militarily without provoking Moscow. The country of 2.5 million people, which was 100% dependent on Russian gas before the invasion of Ukraine, had been battling spiking inflation and public un unrest about soaring energy costs. That's what I said, and they are admitting this, right? But yeah, at the same time, they have to blame Russia for this, right? Sandu, a Harvard-educated former anti-corruption campaigner, told Politico last month that a serious discussion was now taking place in the country following the Russian invasion of Ukraine, including the possibility of joining a defense alliance, NATO. Now there is a serious discussion about our capacity to defend ourselves, whether we can do it ourselves or whether we should be part of a larger alliance, she said. And if we come to, at some point to the conclusion as a nation that we need to change neutrality, this should happen through a democratic process. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told EU leaders during Thursday's European summit in Brussels that Ukraine had intercepted Russian plans to destroy Moldova. Moldovan intelligence services later confirmed they had also identified subversive activities aimed at undermining the state of the Republic of Moldova, destabilizing and violating public order. The Moldovan foreign ministry announced Friday it would summon the Russian ambassador over the unacceptable violation of Moldova's airspace by a Russian missile, which flew over the country as part of an extensive Russian attack on Ukraine. Now they're going to probably use that violation of air, uh, air, airspace as, a, as an excuse to join NATO. Um, I, th I find it kind of ridiculous that still a lot of these... Uh, you know, former states in Yugoslavia, in, in former Soviet countries are so keen on joining the European Union and NATO, despite that we're seeing that the European Union is a failed project, NATO is a failed project, there is no, no alliance here, okay? I mean, Turkey is pissed off at the United States because they are allying themselves with the enemies of Turkey, which is the YPG. Um, on top of that, the United States had an involvement in the, uh, the uh, coup in 2016 in Turkey. Uh, would you call that an ally? Now, we can take the recent example of Nord Stream 2, which Seymour Hersh exposed. Uh, the United States destroyed critical infrastructure that was boosting the German economy, which made it the powerhouse of Europe. How can you call this an ally? Would an ally destroy help to destroy your, your economy. This is insane, right? And this is what Moldova is, you know, is, is you know, thinking of might, they might want to join the EU. They might want to join NATO. Okay? And we can last but not least take Ukraine. Ukraine lost its independence in 2014 and 13. Okay? 
it is what it is. Uh, you know, with the coup, uh, when Victoria Newland had her, you know, F the EU conversation that was leaked out about how she was, you know, uh, handpicking the leaders of Ukraine and politicians and so forth. You call that an independent state? I wouldn't. They literally was, was talking about wh which country, sh which politicians should run the country or politicians. And now we're seeing a, a, uh, a you know, a massacre of, of, of Ukraine's young men in, uh, in Bakhmut. You know, this is, uh, we're, we're witnessing the destruction of Ukraine. Is this what Moldova wants? I hope they, they wise up and, and don't take this uh, decision. Anyway, thank you guys for uh, watching and listening. Uh, I think this was an important event we had to touch upon. And uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and click on the uh, ring bell for notifications so you don't miss any videos. Thanks everybody and stay blessed and stay safe.